this is crypto and we're gonna end up um using this on him when he's misbehaving now not every time only when he does bad things like right now you see how he's playing with the actual bag we don't want him to play with the bag we just click on this button and he automatically goes so hey i'm gonna warn you first okay he's not playing but i warn him with the beeping sound first and then i zap him after so if he doesn't listen Today we're going to bring a dog training collar and we're going to take a look at it. This is actually a remote control with it. So say your dog's ripping something that you're not, he's not supposed to do, or maybe the trash can and you caught him right handed, you grab the control, you beep him, or you give him a warning with the beep signal to not stop what he's doing, or he's not stopping, you electrical him. You send electrical shocks, which is static shocks, right? That's pretty much it. It's humane. It's not that much powerful. It, you know, it's something like you like touching, a, rubbing yourself in the carpet and touching somebody else. You get electrified that way. You get some shock. So it's a little volch. They, they, they do cry, they're puppies, but some dogs that are larger breeds, they might not get too affected too much, but they get the hint too. So we're going to open it up and see what you get. So just to let you guys know, the vendor was kind enough to send this out for us to review. So let's take a look at it and see what you get. So this is not for every dog. There's always an option for a Benian school. If you can afford it, if you can't, and you don't have any other options, maybe you want to look into something like this. So this is something that I use because I have a dog that he's very vicious when people get through the fence, real next to the fence, I end up shocking him. I say, hey, stop. And he, now when people back by, he doesn't bark at them. He doesn't jump at the fence. He's very calm because he thinks I'm going to shock him again, even though he doesn't have the collar on. So that's another thing you could do. So you get the actual char um, the actual manual. You get the collar, and then you get the system itself, if you guys notice. Here's the system. The system is already covered. They give you additional actual bars in the back. I'm going to remove this so you guys can see. You can replace this, all right? And these are for large, smaller breed of dog, all right? This is where the actual sh um, static shock gets through, all right? So we're going to cover them back in a bit right now, but we're going to test them out too. So we're going to power it up, and let's go ahead and turn on the controller too. All right, so the charging station, if you guys can see, is a two-prong connection, type C and type A, to give it power. All right, on this one right here, if you guys can see, this actually charges underneath of it, all right? So one goes to the actual collar, and then the other one goes to the controller, and then this is where your five volts connection, which it could be computer or it could be a power connection source that you have, all right? So the controller it control, and the collar gets charged at the same time, all right? So that's another thing that you don't have to spend money on batteries. So let's go ahead and turn this one on, all right? We're gonna crank it up, we're gonna hold down the button, and it, and it, it vibrates, right? So there's a couple options you can do right now. All right, so here's the actual collar itself. We're gonna test it out so you guys can hear it. So we're gonna do the beeping noise first. That's the beeping noise, and then we're gonna vibrate it too. Then we could zap it, but there's no noise for that. So that's about it. So right now on channel 10, but say you have multiple systems, you could actually replace them and change the channel to different channels. All right, so if you have multiple collars and you want to train different multiple dogs, you can do that. Now we're going to actually shock it. And to shock it, I do have a tester here, right? We'll put the tester right here in between there so you guys can see the testing and how it shocks. So I'm going to actually put the tester here and we're going to send a small volt, all right? And there it is, the small volt. It was quick. Now if we do a larger one, there it goes. It's a larger, it's a more shocking. So they have a two left for level, level one and level two. So one, small little shock, and then two, there's a larger one, all right? Yeah, I don't know how that you wanna force your dog or you wanna maybe train them into it. So uh, whatever it means and ways that you wanna get your dog to get trained, this is another way you can do it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. He's behaving really good, sit. He's, we're training him not to bark at people, not to grab bags, and to poop in the right area. So this is very helpful. Hey, hey, I'm gonna zap you. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.